Hey guys, this is Evan Blast from PocketNow.com and today I'm going to show you how to swap out the micro SD card in your HTC Surround Windows Phone 7. The tools you're going to need for today's project are a Torx head screwdriver, tiny little one, and also a Phillips head screwdriver, small one as well, and of course the memory card that you're going to be swapping out with. The last thing you need here is a disregard for your warranty because after performing this project, you will not be able to take the phone in for service, repairs, insurance, whatever. So basically, only perform this if you're absolutely sure that you're going to be holding on to the phone for the rest of its life. Uh, that's the case. Please follow us after the break, and we'll show you right how to do this. <laughs> All right, so here we have the phone, and the first thing we're going to do is take off the battery cover on the back. And it helps to have a little bit of a long nail to do this because you need to get it in there and then sort of slide it along the edge. And once you get it all the way around, you should be able to pop it off. But, yeah, this is not the easiest thing to do. All right, so once we have that off, we have the battery compartment exposed. And obviously, we need to take that out, so I'm just going to remove that here. All right, and this is the phone that you're going to be working with from here on out. Now, I've already taken all the screws out, so I don't have to bore you with watching me unscrew each one. But so you know, there's going to be four Phillips heads all along the sides here. One, two, three, and then there's one down here. And then once you get those out, there are going to be five Torx head screws. Four in the corners and then one right here. And two of the Torx head screws are going to have warranty voiding stickers on them. So once you take them out and you break that seal, that's what you know shows the, the repair people that, that the phone has been tampered with. So once you have all the screws out, the next thing you want to do is take the backing off. Um, and this is actually done in two pieces. First part is at the bottom here. You want to be very careful. Again, you kind of just want to get a nail under there or maybe a credit card and sort of sort of rock it loose because these are pretty flimsy pieces of plastic. As you see doing this before, I kind of put a little bit of crack right here where the uh, micro USB slot comes through. So you do have to be really careful. Put that down here. and. This one is even a little bit more difficult to take off. So your best bet is probably starting at the corners and then rocking it down. Now this came up pretty easily because I've done this a couple times already, but generally you're going to want to go very slowly with this, you know, lest you, you crack the plastic here. All right, now let me show you. This is where the micro SD card, micro SDHC card, I should say, is located. And once you get down to this level, it's real easy to get out. You just push it in, you know, like you would any, uh, any user accessible one. And then you can pop the card right out, like so. Let's see. All right, there we go. Now, one word of warning is that the card that the phone came with is not going to be able to be formatted or read by any other device except ones that can can um, read secure SD cards, which happen to mostly be Symbian phones. So, so Nokia-based phones like the N8, you could put this in and format it, but <clears throat> excuse me, you couldn't put it in your laptop and expect the laptop to read it or to be able to format it into a usable condition. So that's something to know when you're going to swap the cards out. Now, I didn't have a 32 gigabyte card lying around, so I'm just going to use another 16 gig here, but you will still get the uh, the gist. So once we have the card, we just pop it back in here. Then you want to put the pieces back in in the reverse order. Now something to note is that um, there are micro SD cards that are specifically designed or approved for uh, use with Windows Phone 7 devices. Uh, I found that just using a regular card worked out fine, but you know Microsoft and AT&T they recommend that you uh, that you use the ones that are certified. So once we've got this back together, 
put the battery in. Now one thing I would recommend is that you don't put the screws in back in until you've tested this out and made sure that everything works or else you're going to be wasting a lot of time uh, with the screwdrivers. So we'll pop this back on here before we put the screws on. Now here's one of the most important things and that is if you turn the phone back on it's going to say that uh, that this is not the card that came with the phone and uh, to please you know reinsert that card. So just trying to swap it out you're not going to have any luck. What you have to do is hard reset the phone after the swap and to do that you want to hold the volume up and down buttons at the same time while also holding the power button. Then the phone will turn on and you'll get a screen here. Let's see if you can see that. This operation will delete all personal data, down yes, up no or whatever. So volume down to restore manufacturer default and then it restores it almost immediately. Hit that again. And then not going to leave this here, but um, it's just going to boot up like uh, the first time you turned on the phone, go through your live account setup, SIM card, access points, whatever. So there you go. Uh, this has been Evan Blast with Pocket Now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And just remember to please not perform this unless you're absolutely comfortable with voiding your warranty. Have a good day.